Hi everyone, it's Danny. Today I have the pleasure of presenting you a really cute orchid. And this is the Oncidopsis or Odontonia um, Boussole Blanche. Now, if my French serves me right, this could be translated as a uh, white compass. Now, this orchid can be found under these two names simply because there has been quite a lot of um, reclassifications and so on. So, all odontoglossums have been reclassified to Oncidiums, and also there is a distinction between Miltonia and Miltoniopsis now, which is not a bad thing. Most probably, though, you will find this orchid under the name of Odontonia. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. So, as you can see, it is a white orchid with some patterns on the lip and just a few spots, purple spots, on the petals. It is not a big orchid, but it is quite beautiful and it can produce multiple flowers on a flower spike. Now, you will find its full parentage in the description of this video, although on the RHS I only found it as Boussole, not the Blanche. That could be a cultivar name, I'm not really, really sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the Blanche, or Blanche, sorry, variant. Now, this orchid is not fragrant, as I told you, it has pretty tiny flowers, but it is just so, so elegant. There's something about beautiful white flowers with this really lovely shape that I absolutely adore. I don't know why, and if it has a pattern on the lip, I'm even happier. Now, the orchid itself is really not tiny. It has quite long leaves, as you can see, and quite large pseudobulbs. And also, the flower spikes tend to be quite a bit tall, not necessarily like um, like a sherry baby, but still quite tall. Alrighty, so the story with this orchid is that my friend actually called me from a store and told me that she found some really interesting orchids, most of them I already had, but she's just getting into the um, Oncidium hybrids and she's loving them. But she also sent me a picture of this one and I told her that I really, really wanted since it reminds me of the orchid that I actually lost to snails, the Bellara. Initially I thought it was a Bellara, but it is, it is not. And she actually told me that she wouldn't really buy this for me because it is not in good condition and I will show you how the pseudobulbs look like. So, as you can see, they're pretty thin and pretty, pretty shriveled. She's really not in good condition. And she thinks that this orchid will not make it and it will be a surprise if it does. Also, it wobbles in the pot like heck, so I'm pretty sure there are no good roots in this pot. But I told her, you know what, I'm not gonna do the same mistake again as with the other one. I know what to do now and, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can actually save this little orchid, so just buy it for me. She felt really, really bad that I asked her to do that and she said that she's gonna have me on her conscience. But this is a challenge. I will make a separate video because many of you have asked me to make a video of how to save orchids without roots. I do have something similar but it's just quite long and not necessarily coherent. So I'll give you a step-by-step -step, or at least my method of doing things which actually works for me and um, yeah, maybe you can adapt it to your environment. So this orchid will soon be repotted and it will go into the process of being saved. And uh, yeah, as you might expect, I will not enjoy these blooms for too long. I will actually cut the spikes, but I have to. So yeah, if you want to see that video, I will add a uh, link to it in the description of this video when I'm going to post it. So if you're watching this at a later date, you can check the description and uh, maybe I already posted something. Alrighty, thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. I don't know if I mentioned it is not fragrant, but it's just really elegant, really pretty orchid. So now you know the name and you can actually search for it. So if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you have suggestions or questions for me, just leave me a comment and I will answer. But please make sure in your G Plus settings that people outside your circle of friends can actually reply to you. Otherwise, I won't be able to reply. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!